Hey Luminous Warriors, this is Natalie Griffin coming to you live from my car. And I was so fired up today after working with some clients and I, it was such a perfect day because I could remember and feel and hear and see exactly why Naughty Shaman is called Naughty Shaman. And I get that question all the time, like why Naughty Shaman? What in the heck kind of a name is that? And I get it. And I struggled with it for so long, but it's a very important idea. And the thing of it is, is that we are naughty because we don't fit easily into a category. I'm a shaman who loves science. I'm a poet who loves math. Figure this out. It makes no sense. We work with physicians who love spirituality. We work with psychologists who believe in energy medicine. We are all of us breaking the mold. And in a culture that is telling us all the time to fit in, a culture that is telling us all the time to be afraid, in a culture to tell us all the time that we have no options, that it's hopeless, that there's no way out, believing and having faith is radical, is a radical act of courage to believe in oneself, to feel safe in this world, and to risk connecting live with other humans is such an act of courage. And that is why we're naughty. I'm naughty because I don't like this idea that we can form connections solely over the internet. I need the huge hugs and the kisses and the looks and the handholding and all of that that comes with being with live humans. So in a way, the spirit of Naughty Shaman is fundamentally about following your own rules. Sometimes you have to disobey the dominant culture in order to set your soul free. And that's the spirit of Naughty right there. I worked with a client today and this was her Naughty. She had been told by the dominant culture that she had a diagnosis of schizophrenia or personality disorder. And after working with us, what she's reclaiming is that she is whole, that she is not broken, that she is not sick. And because of this powerful declaration and reclamation of who she is going against the culture, she has found new possibilities for how to have relationships, new possibilities for how to work. It's totally inspiring. I worked with another gentleman earlier today who is a director in an insurance company. And he tells me, you know, there's this pressure to just all be all about the bottom line in corporate culture. And I'm here to say that I care about people. I want my people to go home at night. I want them to have a relationship with their family. I don't want them to burn out because I care most about them. That's radical. These are radical acts of courage in our culture. And, and now is the time when it's needed. Now is the time when radical acts of courage, of going by your own soul's truth, is the only safe ground. Because out there, it's a little wild. In here, we're connected to something greater. However you call that. And that's what we want to help you find at Naughty Shaman, is that connection. That connection to your personal truth. And the conviction and courage to stand in it, even when it's hard. Because that, my friends, is what's going to set us free. So I'm dying to know, like, what makes you naughty? Because I know you're not buying this. All right, my loves, don't digest the fear. Live in hope.